This video will introduce you to EdgeCam Workflow Launcher. The launcher can be accessed by selecting the Windows Start menu, then the EdgeCam Installation group where you can click on Launcher. You can also access the launcher through this shortcut and pin it to your taskbar. The launcher complies with most common Windows Metro style applications. You navigate using the mouse wheel or simply click the arrow symbols found on the top left or top right hand side. You access the tutorials through the question mark icon. Here we see the workflow launcher tutorial. Click the arrow to progress forward where you can see information on the launcher shortcut. Press again, you now see areas of the launcher. To maximize the launcher, simply double click the horizontal bar. Selecting this command will launch EdgeCam in what we describe as classic mode. We wish to concentrate on workflow, therefore let's investigate these six icons contained within the workflow group. Settings is the service or administration area of workflow. For example, from within here we can declare our default measurement units, inch or millimetre. The four remaining icons are all managers and as the term intimates these manage or control vital aspects of the manufacturing setup. Here is the stock manager where we can create our own library of material. We would simply select a material type and then answer the various sizes of the command. We'll dismiss this one. Clicking on any one icon will launch that application. For example, here we see EdgeCam's text editor. The vertical list represents EdgeCam part files which have been recently used. Clicking on the tab allows immediate access to that particular part file. All part files have a PPF extension. Selecting the pin symbol pins it to the top of the list. Select again takes it to the bottom of the list. You can customise the launcher by adding your most frequently used applications. Simply by using the traditional Windows technique of drag and drop, select the command and position it on the launcher. To remove it, select it once more and now select delete custom tool. We'll now move through into EdgeCam workflow.